Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. In an interview with CTV television earlier today, I was talking about this uh, bomb cyclone, or weather bomb, or bombogenesis, and how it relates to climate change. Um, a lot of people are throwing around the term that we're in a new normal. We're in a transition period. We're not actually in a new normal. We're in a very rapid transition period, an abrupt climate period of climate change, where we're going from a steady state to um, a much warmer planet. And there's disruption of the circulation patterns in the atmosphere and oceans as a result of this. Um, disruption of the jet streams. Basically, the jet streams act as a wall. Think of a wall between a cold cellar um, or a cold room, a refrigerator room, and a sauna. Okay, that wall is basically the jet streams. Throw some curves in there. That's the jet streams. And then the position is moving. So right now, North America has been in the cold room. It's like we've opened the refrigerator doors to the Arctic and all this cold air has spilled out of the Arctic, covering North America. Most other parts of the planet are much warmer than, than normal. And so, so we expect these type of things to occur um, as we proceed through abrupt climate change, these, this increase of extreme weather events. So I'm gonna talk about that in great detail um, in this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about how the jet streams are configured and how that impacts, how that creates all this cold air over North America. Just gonna kill the lights here to increase the contrast. So first of all, there's no lack of information um, on what's been happening with this, with this uh, huge storm moving up the East Coast. This is my uh, Twitter, uh, homepage and Twitter. Just follow me at Paul H. Beckwith. I'll follow you back. So some of the things I've been discussing here, um, Mount Washington, wind chill temperatures, nine, minus 92 degrees Fahrenheit last night. In this case, you know, exposed flesh freezes almost instantly in about 30 seconds. Okay, so this is an image, um, you know, wind chill minus 92, temperature minus 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the temperature on Mars is about minus 78 Fahrenheit. So you can see, you know, this puts it in perspective as to how, how cold this actually is. You know, you spit and it freezes before it hits the ground. Okay, um, so I post a lot of stuff on here. I just recently got back from the American Geophysical Union Conference um, late last year. And there's a lot, a lot of papers on what's been going on this year with all the climate disruption, the hurricanes, the fires, all kinds of stuff. You know, loads of people, huge conference, but there doesn't, there, there's certainly not a sense of climate change emergency um, at this scientific conference, which there needs to be. Um, you know, we're undergoing abrupt climate change, we're in a climate emergency, and people just don't recognize that yet. So we've got to get that message out to the public and, uh, you know, politicians, governments, in order to get change. Um, this year, I'm going to try to go to more conferences. So, you know, a lot of people were disappointed last year. I didn't go to Bonn the climate conference. So I ended up going to the AGU for a week. Um, there's a conference actually next week, the American Meteorological Society. I didn't actually know about it until just, uh, just earlier today. You know, it's, it's next week. You know, I may have considered going, but it's kind of early, kind of early um, too close to AGU. Uh, but you can follow it if you want to see. At this conference, there should be lots of discussion on what's been happening with the weather recently, these, this, this cold bomb, um, hashtag AMS2018. You can follow it. Um, lots of other stuff going on. You know, it's not, <laughs> right now, while we're suffering in North America from this extreme cold, it's 45 degrees Celsius, or that's equivalent to 113 Fahrenheit in Australia, Sydney, I believe. Okay, um, so there's lots of stuff here. Um, people, so, you know, in North America, you know, you're freezing your butt off like I am. Um, but 
you know, we tend to forget about what else is going on in other parts of the world. So Europe has just had a massive storm, um, huge storm damage, trees down, things like that. As strong as this storm is, it went up the east coast and, and caused storm surges and flooding in many places, loads of, lots of snow, uh, followed by really low temperatures. You know, as powerful as that storm is, um, there's an even more powerful storm off Alaska um, that has been churning up the ice in the Arctic Ocean. And, you know, we don't like, I'll show you some images of some of the other stuff going on like that. Okay. Um, in Twitter, I re like to just emphasize, okay, this is the, the, the feed, you know, this is a direct feed. Um, basically, what I want to show you is remember the hashtags. So hashtag weather bomb. You know, you can look at the top stories, the latest stories. Um, there's all kinds of information about what's happening. Some of the bizarre things, iguanas falling out of trees in Florida, for example. And uh, what, there's the weather bomb, <laughs> right? Okay, um, another hashtag is bomb cyclone. Um, this is the Great Lakes satellite images. You know, there's an abundant, there's huge amounts of information out there. So it's just a matter of, uh, you know, what I do is try to give you sort of an overall picture of what's going on, try to connect the dots, give you a high level picture looking down because there's a lot of noise, a lot of noise there and uh, especially with fake news and stuff. So I try to act as a filter for you um, so that I can emphasize what's really important um, to, to sort of focus on. There's another um, Here's another bombogenesis, okay? Uh, you know, another way to describe this type of storm, pressure drop 59 millibars in 24 hours. Okay, this is a huge drop and it's a very fast drop. And I'll relate that to um, hurricane pressures. In fact, I'll do that right now here. Um, okay, so this is a site, Geology in Motion from a few years ago. It talks about Frankenstein storm. Um, this was uh, Hurricane Sandy, 943 millibars in the eye. Okay, this winter storm that just happened, the pressure dropped from about 1,010 millibar, you know, which is sort of a nominal pressure, down to 951 millibar. That's a 59 millibar drop. That happened in 24 hours. It didn't reach the, as low as uh, Sandy, but it got pretty close. Um, these are the hurricane pressures at the eye of the hurricane. Category 1, still above 980. Category 2, 965 to 979. Category 3, 945 to 964. So we're at 951 with this storm, right? So, you know, that's equivalent to Category 3 if it was a hurricane. Although, you know, it does have an eye. In fact, Noah sent an eye sent a hurricane hunter into the eye of this uh, storm that we just had, but the eye is not com as compact. It's over a much larger area. The winds aren't as, the winds aren't quite as high, but they were, you know, they were very, very high winds. Um, the, the winds, um, you know, 100 mile an hour plus in, in some cases, so, you know, 160, 170 kilometers, that's like that type of thing. Okay, so these storms do compare you know, in terms of the pressure. Um, so, you know, this is a huge pressure drop. Definition of a bomb is one millibar per hour for 12, 24 hours, which is a 24 millibar drop. So this is well, you know, this is like more than double uh, that, that, that criteria. Um, this is the Mount Washington. It's among the coldest places on the planet and beyond. So this is the top of Mount Washington all of the high winds blowing the snow, sticking to all of the structures, you know, 94 wind chill. It looked for a while like it might reach 100 below, 94 below. Second coldest place on earth. There was one place colder. It's about 6288 feet above sea level. And you can compare that to minus 78 Fahrenheit uh, Mars temperatures. Lots of articles. This is a very good one in particular. Climate Reality pro uh, Project. Um, this is a. Um, this was by Michael Mann, I believe. Yes, and uh, so 
you know, it's not, there's, it's not just a normal old fashioned winter. Okay. Um, what's happening is very consistent with our expectations of how weather plays out to human caused climate change. Okay. So basically, you know, there's more lake effect snow, less ice on the lakes, more lake effect snow. Um, they were setting way more daily, um, all time daily highs versus daily lows. So this is, uh, you know, six, 61 high max days, 118 high min days. Um, and then the low, low min days, precipitation, setting records, snowfall, snow depth. Okay. So basically this is the image here. Um, so we got a cold, we got a cold chunk of air that spilled out of the Arctic covering North America. You know, the rest of the globe generally is still much warmer than normal. This is from climate reanalyzer. Um, this is showing the pressure. So this is, this is uh, 950 millibar, 951 in the center. This is as this storm. So basically the cold air spilled out from the Arctic, crossed in over the Gulf of Mexico was deflected upwards here. So you got very cold air from the Arctic. It's over the very warm ocean, much warmer than normal. Those temp temperature gradients um, just created the, gave the energy, huge convection, uh, convective uplift, huge amounts of energy in this storm. And then it traveled up through the Maritimes and up here while there was a very powerful storm coming up here, going into the Arctic through the Bering Strait. A powerful storm in Europe as well. Okay, so so what's happening? Um, these are the ocean temperatures here, sea surface temperature anomaly, very very warm temperatures all the way up here, and you can see how the wa how the warm temperatures it, it goes underneath the surface and comes back up. So you get this interspacing here, of uh, very hot versus very hot blotchy areas versus and very cold blotchy areas if you like um okay so this is exactly what we expect from climate change this is another good article in grist get used to saying bomb cyclone this is our climate now okay um he talks a little bit about the derivation of the name um and some of the things that happened south carolina snow uh Boston, largest coastal flood in history. You know, waves crashing through seawalls on the coastline. Um, seven, okay, coastal floods. Um, okay, these storms are, are gathering strength in a hurry. Remember, in, in 24 hours, we have 59 millibar drop. I mean, uh, hurricanes don't even accelerate um, to that level, okay? Um, so the, the, we're, we're setting records year round. Uh, there we go, a hurricane hunter went in to investigate the storm. You know, it was so powerful. Um, so, you know, in a warming world, you know, with climate change, we get extreme temperatures. Now, if you wanna get more into the weather details, weather underground, this particular blog, um, so w weather underground, just Google it, it's wonderground.com. Um, this is a blog on it, and basically, um, we're getting we're going into a, a warming period, a January thaw. So you know, Ottawa, minus uh, almost minus thirty tonight. It'll be minus twenty eight Celsius um, Monday. It goes above zero. It's a few degrees Celsius, maybe uh, four or five degrees Celsius by Wednesday next week. Um, so this is a huge swing. Um, so all it is is the jet stream is moving, right? And it depends what, if we're in the cold, in the refrigerator side of it, you know, it's super cold. And if we're out, if the, we open the door, the cold air spills out, or, in the, or if the jet stream moves up, then we go into, the, into a much warmer situation. This is weather whiplashing. This is horrible for infrastructure. It's horrible for flora and fauna, plants and animals. You know, they don't, they can't uh, maintain the temperature. They're outside, you know, huge stresses on, on these creatures. Um, this is just some Ottawa stuff, uh, you know, weather underground, you can get all kinds of information and then the hurricane stuff. So I'm going to have a second part video 
on and look at the jet streams and the dynamics. Thank you.